Hi, remember me? I'm Dylan. I post videos on this channel sometimes. I haven't posted in a really long time. Uh, not since the BC era before Corona. Yeah. And I thought now would be a, a good time to start posting new videos again. I have a lot more time now because I'm out of a job. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks to the coronavirus, uh -huh. the uh, ski resort that I was working at shut down for the season uh, uh, because of concerns over the coronavirus. Uh, they, they, they still have lots of snow up there. Uh, yeah, yeah. And, even last weekend, we got a, a snowstorm that brought almost eight inches of new snow. <laughs> but now no one's up there to use it. Uh, yeah, yeah. At, at first, my ski resort tried to stay open, uh, but they closed down everything except the chairlifts uh, during the day. So I, I still had a, a job for a little bit, but then they decided that it wasn't worth it to stay open and they just shut down the whole ski area. So that's why my skis and poles are behind me right now. Cause I, I brought them down from the mountain and uh yeah yeah since i'm not going to use them again until next winter and it's not just the skiers or i work at that shut down it's i think every ski resort in idaho is now closed for the season so yeah now i've got nothing to do and that's not the only way that the coronavirus has affected my life. I uh, sort of had a close call with the virus uh, just last week. Yeah, uh, I had been a member of the YMCA. Uh, I, I got the membership because uh, the Y had a deal with my uh, ski resort that employees could get a discount on memberships. So, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I, I signed up for it and, uh, yeah, what was, was, I was getting a good deal on membership, uh, but then they called like two months after I signed up and they said that actually the discount only applies to full time year round employees, uh, not uh, seasonal employees like me. So yeah, that really narrows the, the uh, number of people that could get the discount. Uh, but, uh, my ski resort does have activities going on in the summer, but not nearly as much as they do in the winter. So they, they have a lot more people working in the winters and than the summer. So yeah, so I ultimately decided that, that uh, Without the discount, uh, my membership wasn't worth it because I, I was paying, yeah, like thirteen or fourteen dollars more a month, and yeah, I, I I decided to cancel it before I 
canceled it, I decided just to go to the Y one last time uh, after work. And it, it was on uh, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. So yeah, I, I go there, I, I work out in the gym, and then two or three hours after uh, I finish my workout, I get an email from the YMCA saying that there had been a possible coronavirus exposure at the same Y that I went to. Yeah, and I was just like, come on, really? The last time I go to the YMCA and I possibly get coronavirus? Come on, really? But uh, it turned out that I wasn't really in any danger because uh, the person who had possibly been exposed to the coronavirus, uh, they were there on Tuesday uh, at around 5 p.m. And I was there Friday after 7 p.m. And uh, I, a nurse at my uh, family doctor said that the coronavirus uh, can survive on certain services for 48 to 72 hours. And I, I was there 72, more than 72 hours after the person was there. Uh, and the Y also said they had uh, been cleaning a lot more uh, recently. And I also used hand sanitizer a lot, a lot more when I was there. And also the one person had not been confirmed to have coronavirus. Um, uh, I, I'm still not sure they have tested positive, but still my chances are extremely low that I was exposed to it or that I got the virus. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then th this time was not nearly as bad as that one time I thought I had herpes. Yeah, yeah, not not near, nearly as bad as that time, but, but I still wish that these health scares would stop happening to me. <laughs> that would be great if they did. Uh, I, I did go to one of those drive up coronavirus testings they have at hospitals uh, when, when they opened up in Idaho, but they didn't test me because I hadn't been in close contact with the person uh, who has coronavirus uh, and I hadn't been out of Idaho in the past two weeks and I wasn't showing any of those symptoms like a fever above 100 degrees, uh, a uncontrollable cough and shortness or difficulty breathing. Short, shortness of breath, I should say, or difficulty breathing. With everything that I've been hearing, it, it helps me. I didn't get my anxiety up high, but still, it's a little higher now. <laughs> but I'm, I'm just worried about having the coronavirus and not showing any symptoms and then passing it on to someone else uh, who could get it, like my parents, who are almost 60 years old. <laughs> yeah, 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 so they're actually more vulnerable to the virus. 
So old people are very vulnerable to the coronavirus. Uh, people like those in the presidential race and those who dropped out of the presidential race and people with underlying health uh, uh, conditions are also vulnerable. But like if you have asthma or uh, a heart condition or uh, some other uh, sort of lung illness, like, like smoking, you know, s smoking uh, damages your lungs. So that actually makes you more vulnerable to the coronavirus. So don't smoke. Strangely, it's actually children who are the least least vulnerable to uh, the coronavirus. Lucky. They can still get it, but from what I've heard, their symptoms seem to be milder and there's been almost no deaths of children who got the coronavirus. Uh, it, except for some who had under, who had health problems before getting the coronavirus. Uh, although they, they can still spread it too easily. So it's, it's a good thing they closed down all the schools. So the same week that uh, my ski resort closed, so did almost everything else like schools, uh, restaurants, bars, sports, movies, uh, and the zoo, which I'm so glad I'm not still working at the zoo right now. I worked as a janitor at the zoo last summer. So I, I know just how disgusting people are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm really glad I'm not working as a janitor right now. I wonder if my zoo will release their penguins like uh, the aquarium in uh, Chicago did and let them roam free. So these closures were voluntary, but uh, just a couple of days ago, uh, the the mayor ordered that all dining restaurants and bars and nightclubs uh, shut down for 30 days uh, because of the coronavirus. So, so. Yeah, now everything's closed or you just have drive through or curbside takeout at some restaurants. And we have a new mayor who just took office in January and less than four months into her job she has to deal with all of this <laughs> so good luck to her yeah but that's another job i'm glad i don't have right now the good news is that in idaho uh it hasn't been as bad as in other states but it might get worse uh, right now the number of confirmed coronavirus cases is over 30 and will probably still go up now that now that they're doing more testing although apparently it's been taking a long time to get the test results back uh, the, the labs don't have enough resources to do it faster. So yeah, they, they really need to find a way to speed up testing. Yeah, I hope 
Idaho doesn't get as bad as Oregon or Washington, the, the states that border Idaho. And, and yeah, well, Washington right now is uh, one of the uh, states that has the highest number of corona cases. And, and my uh, sister is living in Seattle right now. So she's been uh, calling and texting us uh, often showing con concern. Uh, and then she also just started a new job recently. Uh, yeah, the, this one is an outdoor job, so she can't work from home. Yeah. So if the governor of Washington decides to issue uh, uh, an order to have people stay at home, then, then she's out of work like me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Experts are telling people to stay at home as much as possible. And when they do go out, to practice social distancing. Social distancing is absolutely crucial right now. The idea is to avoid crowded places, cancel social engagements, avoid unnecessary travel, work from home if that is an option for you, and if you need to buy groceries or use public transit, try to do it at off-peak times. Now, obviously, that is not all feasible for everyone, but if you truly have no choice but to go out. It is vital to protect yourself and others by keeping a distance of at least six feet from other people. When I was younger, social distancing used to be called being a loner. Uh, but uh, yeah, but I, I know uh, uh, they're saying this to uh, help stop the spread of the virus uh, so it can't spread through direct contact or close contact contact between person and another person which i think that's the reason why italy uh, has been hit so hard by the coronavirus because people in Italy do that kiss greeting thing whenever they meet people. That's why I'm not going to Italy. I don't want some stranger to kiss me. No, it's actually kind of funny when I hear people say uh, to practice social distancing because I've been practicing social distancing all my life. And I have to say, I'm getting quite good at it. The government is telling all of us to avoid human contact indefinitely. And on behalf of the socially anxious everywhere, let me just say, way ahead of you. I have been avoiding human contact since before it was cool. So now everyone is being told to do the thing that I've always been doing. So I've been preparing for this my whole life. This is my chance to shine. Which is actually kind of sad when you think about it. I was actually trying to find more things to do outside of my home before the coronavirus took over. I guess it's back to my old ways for now. And just stay inside, except to go out and get food and supplies, which I'm going to need to do soon, because, yeah, I, I didn't prepare. <laughs> Hopefully I can find everything that I need, because people are buying so much stuff, uh, and some of the stuff that they're buying doesn't even make sense. 
like toilet paper. You know, people are buying so much of that. The coronavirus is a respiratory uh, illness, so it affects your lungs, not your colon. So <laughs> you don't need toilet paper for this illness. Yeah, it's not really gonna help you if you get sick. Uh, idiot. And same with buying bottled water. Uh, the, you know, the coronavirus is not going to affect the water in your pipes. It's not going to shut off your water to your house. It's, it's not like a hurricane or a tornado. You'll still have water during the pandemic. I mean, I, I suppose there is a chance that a person's water could get shut off uh, if they're behind on their, uh, uh, their payments for their water bills, but you know, that shouldn't happen. Yeah, just keep the water going. Uh, and if you like, you can just get a water filter uh, like, like I have. Although maybe all the water filters are out of stock too. But the thing that makes the least sense is all of the gun sales that are going up right now. I'll shoot the virus. <laughs> Get off my porch, you fucking virus, or I'll blow your... What do you got in there? I'll blow it out. Do people think that the virus will turn the infected people into zombies? And the, the biggest thing is with face masks, people are buying and hoarding uh, face masks. And right now in some states like New York, uh, there aren't enough face masks for uh, healthcare providers like doctors and nurses, which that's really scary. Uh, and uh, the face masks really don't do anything. Uh, they're designed to keep blood and other fluids from getting uh, in your mouth and nose. Uh, that's why surgeons wear them when they're uh, operating on people. And it really only uh, prevents people from getting viruses when you're really close to the other person. Like, for example, with doctors and nurses getting in close to people to, you know, check their temperature and vials and other stuff so they're the ones that need the face masks and people need to stop buying so many of those i'm talking to you directly stop it listen to me stop it so that's my corona virus experiences and thoughts uh, but before i end this video i, I just want to go down a list of things that people should be doing right now. Uh, yeah, here's the list. One, don't be racist. Uh, I've heard of a lot of stories uh, about how Chinese people and people who just look Chinese are getting discriminated against 
because the virus was first detected in China, which is really not cool. Uh, people are just using the virus to be racist. Like Trump. President Trump doubled and tripled down on rejecting calling the disease COVID-19, instead calling it the Chinese virus. Some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. So that needs to stop. Uh, next is to wash your hands with soap and water uh, for 20 seconds or more. Uh, I do always wash my hands. Uh, uh, yeah, I have ever since I was younger. But it uh, almost certainly wasn't for 20 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, probably only half that, so, yeah, but now I'm actually washing my hands for 20, 20 or more seconds. And also, when you do wash your hands, don't forget to get in between your fingers like that. Yeah, 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 that's where the germs like to hide. Yeah. You know, I, I've had several, several jobs where I've had to clean restrooms and I've seen lots of people use the restrooms without washing their hands. It's really gross. Yeah. yeah. You can also use hand sanitizer to uh, just make sure that uh, it has 60% or more alcohol in it, but yeah, it, it's, it's good if you can't get to uh, soap. Another thing is to cover your mouth when you're sneezing or coughing, or you, you can also use a tissue or a handkerchief so that the germs don't spread from your mouth. Last thing is to stay away from people if you are sick. Uh, so you also don't spread the germs. Yeah, yeah, if you're sick, don't go to school or work. Uh, I know that can be hard for some people if money is really tight, but yeah, uh, if you get the wrong person sick, it, it could be really bad. So those are the things that people should be doing right now. What I call how people should behave anyway. And I hope that people continue to do those things after this pandemic is over. So then we can prevent the next pandemic. Yeah. So that's going to be it for this video. And I'll probably be making more videos soon since I've really got nothing else to do. Uh, now that I'm out of work and can't go outside much. So, yep. So, until next video, wash your hands.